Doctor, you co-authored a, a, a book titled A Day in the Budwig Diet. How did that diet come about and why? Can you discuss that? Well, the Budwig Diet was created by Joanna Budwig. She was a German biochemist. Um, she was um, a, an expert in fats and lipids. Right? She was actually the, the lead researcher in that topic um, at their Ministry of Health, kind of like our FDA. Mm -hmm. And she was... Um, Germany at that time was a really big hotbed of scientific discovery, um, especially when it comes to cell biology and uh, cancer in general. Otto Warburg was a, a Nobel Prize winning scientist who um, made some really landmark discoveries in cancer. Things that are actually even being discussed today. There's a resurgence of it. But being a, a lipids expert, she was able to see the connection of fats and oils uh, with cancer and the connection between that topic and uh, the work of these other researchers. And she was really a pioneer in the field. Um, she was one of the first to talk about omega-3s. She was one of the first to talk about um, the benefits of coconut oil. You know, these things now we know in research, there's so many benefits to these types of fats. Um, she was also one of the first uh, to speak out about, against trans fats. Mm. Right? These are man-made fats. These are hydrogenated oils. And they're very damaging to the body. And because of her expertise in the field, she was able to understand how they worked in the body uh, and, and even went through some lawsuits with uh, big food companies because of her protests against them. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, she had a really uh, deep understanding because she was a biochemist and she was trained in physics. So, and, and cancer back then was a big problem, just like it is, still is today. And with that understanding of biochemistry, um, she formulated a diet to uh, address some of these underlying issues in cancer. And because she was a fats researcher, um, a lot of her diet is based around the use of healthy fats uh, to optimize cell metabolism. Can you talk a little bit more about how that diet actually treats illness? I mean, what, when someone's on that diet, and explain a little bit of that and what's going on in the body then. Well, the first thing is I, I always tell my patients to think of the Budwig diet as one uh, component in a, a large arsenal of things that they have available to them. Um, but that being said, you know, when you look at the Budwig diet, you look at components of it, and you look at the science, there's actually a lot to it. Um, she's most well known for her flax oil and cottage cheese mixture. That's what everyone knows. Sure. And there's a lot to that too. You know, I think there's a misunderstanding about that. A lot of people say when you mix the two together, they become water soluble. Uh, that's a, a loose, uh, that's, a, that's kind of a loose interpretation of the words. I mean, basically what's happening is you're emulsifying those fats. And now we have research showing that pre-emulsified fats, uh, especially as it applies to omega-3s, actually uh, allows those oils to be uh, more rapidly absorbed and more completely absorbed in the body. So when you think about it from that perspective and you remove a lot of the pro-inflammatory foods and you add you know, high doses of, of rapidly absorbed omega-3s and, omega, and some omega-6s, uh, you can see how you're kind of removing that, uh, the variable of, of inflammation uh, in cancer growth, and that's a, a very big variable. So a big part of it can just be you're eating better foods, and by that token, you're not eating bad foods. <laughs> definitely. That's half of the equation, right? Everything is a system, and that's definitely half of the equation. The other thing is that um, she included a lot of... Uh, vegetable juices and fruit juices, and she was always talking about plant pigments uh, and how they benefit the body. And she was talking about these things in a little more esoteric kind of way because of her training in physics. Um, and there are researchers now who are looking, uh, biophysics researchers who are looking into a phenomenon called, called biophotons. These are uh, little uh, signals of light that occur between cells, and they, they think that that could be part of um, cell communication that precedes uh, biochemistry. Um, and, you know, according to these researchers, a lot of this, um, this biophoton energy comes from food and sunlight. But even from a biochemical perspective, uh, when you're talking about these plant pigments, you're talking about the bioflavonoids, right? These are a lot of the plant compounds, the, the plant pigments that, that uh, give plants their color. And these are some of the most well-researched substances uh, in terms of their anti-cancer uh, abilities, right? Um, you know, in medicine, we look for uh, the magic bullet, right? Something that will hit cancer, but not hit the rest of the body. Well, when you look at these anti-cancer compounds, there's things like uh, quercetin and curcumin, um, uh, EGCG from uh, green tea, right? These things are, are, are really well researched and they have a, a wide variety. They, they really hit cancer from a variety of different ways, from uh, blocking, blocking uh, glycolysis to uh, 
uh, downregulating cancer genes and, and addressing inflammation from various angles. So when you look at all these things in combination, you really see uh, how they work and how they can benefit people.